First, for more on the land swap deal between the city of Detroit and the owner of the Ambassador Bridge, we turn to 7 investigator Jim Kurtzner. He has been following this controversial deal and joins us live from southwest Detroit with more. Jim? Yeah, months of drama over. Let me show you what's in the deal. This is Riverside Park. You don't have to look very far to see. This hasn't had a lot of love in a long time. You can see this old fence is rusty. The grass hasn't been cut. Even the sign up here is cracked with age. Now take a look at what the Maroon family get. They get three acres of land on the other side of this park between the park and the bridge for them to build a possible second bridge. The city gets $3 million now, but the council member from this district, District 6, campaigned for a no vote saying the city did not get enough money. So I agree that um, we want recreational opportunities and we want to invest in uh, opening the riverfront Southwest Detroit has historically been ignored. Um, however, I don't think that we should settle for, for crumbs, and I think it's short-sighted if we only look at the um, th what we gain and not potentially what we're losing. I said that I was going to take all personal feelings and all of anybody else's agenda out of it, and I, and I believe that I've stayed true to that. I've lost a lot of sleep thinking about this because I don't care about the money portion. My concern is what's best for the citizens in this entirety. Change our relationship with the city and the community. And uh, now it's time for us to work on those important commitments and make sure we fulfill them. Having said that, how nervous were you coming into today? Well, I, it's been a long process, so uh, uh, it hasn't afforded me the ability to, to keep my nerves up the whole time. Now coming up next hour at 5, both sides, the city, the Maroon family have agreed to a work group to continue to talk financial terms. But I can also tell you the Maroons are far from their second span next to the Ambassador Bridge. They still need more city, also state, federal, and international approval. Plus, they're in competition with Governor Rick Snyder and the Ontario Province Prime Minister. They want to build their government-owned bridge. They've called the Gordie Howe Bridge. Both bridges still have a long way to go, still have a lot of approvals coming. Joanne, Heather? All right, I know you'll stay on top of all of it for us, Jim. Thank you so much.